Hello, welcome to India ID tutorials. We are now discussing progressions. In our earlier class, we have discussed about basics of HP with some examples. Today and onwards, we would be solving some complex examples on progressions, which will include examples of arithmetic progression, geometric progression, and harmonic progression. The questions can also be combination of all these progressions. The example here is the average of five consecutive numbers starting with m as first number is n. What is the average of nine consecutive integers that start with m plus two? Here it has been given that there are five consecutive numbers starting with m. That numbers would be m, m plus one, m plus two, m plus three, and m plus 4 whose average is given by n that is average is equal to n now to solve this type of questions simply assume that you are having five numbers say we are having numbers as 1 2 3 4 and 5 and average of these numbers would be 3 that is value of n is equals to 3 and value of m would be equal to 1. Now it has been asked what is the average of 9 consecutive integers that start with m plus 2. Here our value of m is 1 that we have supposed. So value of m plus 2 would be equal to 3 and we have to find out average of 9 consecutive numbers starting with 3. So our numbers would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. These are 9 consecutive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whose average would be equal to 7. Now, what would be the answer among all these? The value of n is 3. So, it should be n plus 3, n plus 4. That is 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, our answer is n plus 4 which gives us 3 plus 4 as the answer. Let's have another example. Our next example is how many three digit positive integers exist that when divided by seven leave a remainder of five. In this question, we need to find out the total number of three digit positive integers, which when divided by seven gives you a remainder of five. For this type of questions, what we do is First of all, we write lowest three digit number, which is 100, and maximum three digit number, which is triple nine. Now we need to find out that first number, which if we divide them by seven, gives us a remainder of five. So we will divide both the numbers by seven. So we will get seven into one gives you seven, 30, seven into four, 28, two as a remainder. Similarly, we will divide triple nine by seven, which will give you seven into one, seven, 29, seven into four, 28, 19, seven into two, 14, we will get five as a remainder. Now in this case, we are getting five as a remainder. This means this is one of the three digit numbers, which when divided by seven, gives you a remainder of five. But in this case, we are getting a remainder of 2 but we need a remainder of 5 so what we will do is to get a remainder of 5 we will add plus 3 in this number that is we will add plus 3 into 100 which will give us 103 as the answer thus 103 is our first three digit number that gives us a remainder of 5 when divided by 7 Similarly, triple nine is last three digit number, which when divided by seven, gives you a remainder of five. So our series become 103 and triple nine. Now our next digit would be by adding seven in this number, which will be 110. We are adding seven in this number because our next number, if we divide it by seven and it will give us a remainder of five. That's why we are adding a 7. Similarly, adding 7 into the numbers will form an AP. That is 117 and so on. 
now we need to find out total number of numbers and we know that this is an ap because the common difference is same and formula to calculate nth term in ap is tn equals to a plus n minus 1 into d this we have already taught you in previous classes now we need to calculate the value of n over here now tn that means the last term is triple nine a which is first term is 103 plus n minus 1 we need to calculate n and the value of d is 7 which is the successive term minus previous term so solve this that is triple nine minus 103 equals to n minus 1 into 7 we we'll get 896 equal to n minus 1 into 7 now 896 divided by 7 equals to n minus 1 cancel it you will get 128 now 128 is equal to n minus 1 which is equal to 128 plus 1 equals to n so value of n is 129 this means we are having total 129 terms which when divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 5. I hope you have understood these examples. For more tutorials and more tricks you can log into indiaedu.com.